All right, curl friends, welcome back to the Prison Girls channel. Today, it is the battle of the bonnets. Are you ready? Here's the deal. I have talked about my slip silk bonnet so many times it's not even funny because I freaking swear by it. The only problem is that I know it's on the pricier end, but I haven't found anything that even close to compares. Okay, so we're in our comfies. We are ready to put the hair up in the bonnet. And so I'm going to show you guys my very first response to this. Okay, this is a bonnet available at Ulta. It is also a turban style bonnet, similarly to the way Slip Silks is. So if you look at Slip Silk, I'm gonna put a picture of me in it right here so you guys can just see right off the bat. And then I'm gonna show you how I put this on but you can see it has a little knot in the front. It's actually a super cute pattern. Please don't mind, I've got makeup on here and it needs to be washed, so I apologize. And then it also has a little ruching in the back and on the bottom edge, you can see it also has really nice stitching. That's the little tag. I really should just take that off of there, but it's got really nice elastic stitching here. So it gives you a lot of comfort, but also it stays on. A lot of the problems that you guys have with your bonnets is that they just don't stay on. And that's something I've never had an issue with this because it's taut enough around the head, but it also isn't so tight that it makes you uncomfortable. And that's been the feedback that I've gotten from a ton of people about just wearing bonnets in general. Either they fall off or you have a silk scarf and it also falls off because there's no way that thing's staying on throughout the night, unless you are literally still as like a mummy. <laughs> but this thing does not budge. And so this isn't like an ad for slip silk. It's just that this is the best thing I've ever found in my life. But a lot of you have struggled with the price of it. This retails, I think for 85 bucks. It is on the more expensive end. It is pure silk, it's not satin, so there is that. And the quality is incredible on it. So you're investing in something that you're going to have for a very long time and you're probably gonna wear it daily. I think this is worth it, I do. I think it's an investment in your hair. But this guy right here is a satin lined, okay? You guys can see this. It is satin lined. It has a kind of like more furry texture on the outside and this retails for $18. So I'm like, well, let's see. Is it gonna hold all my hair? Is it gonna fall off in the middle of the night? Is it gonna be similar to the, what I have and it's gonna be a fraction of the cost? I don't know. So we're gonna battle it out. Now, before I open this up and try it, I wanted to show you how I put my bonnet on because that's one of the biggest questions I get when I am wearing my bonnet. I wear my bonnet in stories on Instagram a lot, so a lot of people are like, how did you put it on? So let's just go through it right now. So what I do is I take my hands, I put them inside the bonnet, okay? And then I am going to flip over, hopefully you guys can see this, I'm going to flip over and I'm gonna start out by putting it right on the back nape of my neck, okay? And that's going to get all those curls to the top of my head. And then you end up with something like this. That doesn't work very well either. So then you're gonna force all that hair to the top of the bonnet, okay? So you're gonna start fluffing that in. And you don't want it on the sides, you don't want it on the back, because that's probably where you're gonna be sleeping. Most of us are gonna sleep on our back or on our side. So we wanna stuff it all to the top. And so now we have most of it in there. And then we're just going to take anything that isn't in and we're just gonna keep stuffing that in until it's pretty much all in there. Okay, we pretty much got it all in there. We got a few little strays. But other than that, now you can see all of my curls are for the most part on the very top of my head so that when you are sleeping, okay, when you're sleeping, then you're not going to mush down or stretch out majority of your curls. So, and same goes for on the back. So if you look at the back here, I'm gonna just flip around, you can see that most of my curls are to the side and to the top. They are not on the back of my head. They're actually now split kind of out and up. And that's how I found I'm going to get the most longevity out of my curls throughout the week. So now that you know how I do this, if you are curious about this bonnet, I am linking it here. But now we're going to test out the other bonnet and you're going to see my first reaction to it. So let's do it. Take this off. I'll go the curls, shake them out. Let's open up this bad boy. I really should have, I really should have scissors right now. Okay. 
hope I didn't just put holes in that. Ugh. I need scissors. Okay, first impression. It looks really similar. It's got a similar little knot in the front. It's a little bit thicker right here because it is like double, like two or three layers of fabric in here. And then on the back, I am noticing that it does have some ruching on the back to help stay on. And it's got ruching, let me, it's got ruching on the center back as well. Now, if we compare, let's put them side by side and let's see if one is bigger than the other. So now we have both of them next to each other and I think it's pretty obvious the difference in size. This is telling me I'm gonna have probably significantly more compression in this one from Ulta compared to the one that I have been used to using. And you can also see that there's a lot more space up top where I put the majority of my curls compared to this one. This looks like I'm gonna have a struggle to keep this on, but you never know. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. I can also tell that this one here has a lot more, it comes in a lot more for around the face, which is probably gonna give me a little bit tighter of a fit. This one looks like it comes pretty straight down. So that tells me I might have problems with the slipping off at night, but let's go ahead and put it on and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna use the exact same technique because I want this to be as similar as possible. So I'm gonna put my hands in here We've got the back on facing me. We're gonna flip my head over again and we're gonna put this on the nape of my neck and then bring it forward. Ooh, okay, this is already. We're gonna start stuffing this in. Okay, it's cute. I like the little, the leopard pattern. What? Okay. Stuff it the rest of the way in. So I can already tell it's not nearly as tight around my, around my scalp. It did fit all in there though, so that's good. I've got like a lump of hair over here on the side. And I feel like that might be because there's not as much room on top that I can't get as much out of the side as I normally would. Okay, it's on there. So overall, looks really good, looks cute. Like I can't stand some of the bonnets that just like are, like they have zero style to them. I think this is actually pretty cute with the leopard print. It does have the satin that's kind of coming out of the under layer. So I'm just gonna like finesse that a little bit. So right now, immediately what I can tell is that this, um, it's just not nearly as tight around my head as I would like. So I worry about this maybe falling off. And I can also tell that because there's not as much room up top that a lot of my curls are more on the sides than they are on top, which makes me think that maybe I'm gonna have more of a struggle with refreshing and they're gonna be more compressed. Only a night's sleep is really going to tell us how well this works. So I am going to sleep with this one on tonight and then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna come back on and tell you my thoughts from whether it fell off last night, whether it, um, you know, how, I'm gonna take my curls out immediately on camera so you guys can see exactly what this looks like. Um, we're fresh out of the bonnet and we'll see what happens. So let's see. Eight hours later. Good morning, I am back. Please excuse my morning voice, I'm still having my coffee, but I wanted to report back right away. So, let me take a sip. Hmm. And also don't mind my lashes. Um, my lash apply is like half off right now because I like half slept on my face. So, it is what it is. But, when it comes to this bonnet, here are a few things that I noticed right off the bat. Number one, I noticed that my hair felt like it was all being pushed off to the left and I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's the way I stuffed my hair in or what, but it doesn't feel even. Number two, surprisingly, it did stay on all night, um, but it did kind of start coming off. So you can like see where it started coming off kind of on the side. I didn't like reposition it at all. This is literally exactly how I woke up. So it did kind of leave me a little bit more frizzy on the sides like that which normally my bonnet will actually be like here in the morning, not slipped off the side. So that's neither here nor there. It didn't completely fall off. So that's a pretty huge deal. But now let's get to the piece de resistance. I don't know if I just said that right, but let's take it off. 
My hair's always so beautiful when I take off the bonnet. Okay, so let's just shake it out a little bit. See how it did. Okay, okay. Okay, it looks like there's no like huge pieces that are like super, like I said, the edges are a little bit, a little bit wonky. But other than that, honestly, it didn't do a bad job. I'd like to test this out for a few more nights. So I think I'm gonna do that and then report back because um, I just like to see how it really does like long term. But on a first night, it did pretty well. It is satin, not silk, so it is a man-made material versus a natural material. It's not hypoallergenic like silk is. And I just don't like the feel as much of satin as I do silk. That's just a preference. But for the lesser cost, for $18 versus 85 retail, it's not bad. What I will say though is like you can see like how the lining keeps coming out of it. Like I I don't know why it's doing that, but I noticed when I put it on, half the time my lining looked like this in the front, and I found that really annoying. And then the knot was like up at the top where it should be on down on the forehead. So there's definitely some manufacturing things that you can tell, like, okay, you can tell why they're able to sell it for $18 versus um as nicely made as the slip silk one is there's definitely a difference there but for somebody who's wanting to stay within a budget and cannot maybe afford the one that is 85 retail so normally i can find a deal on it where you can get like 20 to 30 percent off so i'd say like really realistically you can get it for probably 65 70 not 85 but here's gonna be the kicker it's gonna matter like if you have a lot of hair I feel like I have a lot of hair and I feel like I kind of maxed out how much hair you could fit in there. So if you have thicker or longer hair than me, I don't think you're gonna enjoy this. If you have thinner or shorter hair than me though, that might work really well for you. The other thing I don't know is how well it will stay on for somebody who has a smoother texture. So say you have wavier or just thinner curls, if you try this on, you'll real you'll see pretty quickly that the elastic around here is not as tight as the one from the slip silk, and that could cause more of a like fall off issue. I feel like the reason mine didn't fall off was not because of the um, was not because of the elastic. It was because my hair was almost holding it on, um, whereas this one it's definitely the elastic that holds it on and the way it's shaped. So I think that's a really big driving factor in why it didn't fall off. So I do worry that if you have thinner, a thinner texture or a finer, smoother texture, that this may fall off of you more easily. So I would keep that in mind as well. I think it's worth trying and the beauty in Ulta is that things are also easy to return if they don't work for you. I'm a huge proponent in that because you should not Pay for things that don't work. I cannot stand, like if you find a foundation that doesn't work or if you find a curl product and, you're, and you try it two or three times and you're just like, this is not working and it costs you like $30, go back to Ulta, try something different. They're amazing for that. And also not an Ulta ad. I will keep trying this and I'll also see if I can find other good like turban bonnet dupes because I think they are the best type because they actually keep your curls more in place on the top of your head more than on the sides whereas the really loose bonnets kind of let your curls fall on the side and then you're going to get more compression while you sleep hi editing chloe here i just realized that i never actually said which bonnet technically won the battle of the bonnets so in my opinion the slip silk bonnet still wins still my favorite yes it is more expensive but to be completely honest the quality and the shape and the way it actually serves it per its purpose makes it worth it, hands down. So I do have everything linked below. You guys can check out both of them and you can see which one you think would be a better fit for you. But Slip Silk still wins. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in. Please excuse my morning face right now. I've got like crusties in my eye. <laughs> 
If you haven't subscribed though, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button because when you hit that like button, it tells YouTube that you really enjoy this content and that you think more people would enjoy this content too. So it helps us get more eyes and more curlies over to this page. So I always really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.